What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, um, I am attacking some of these splinter units uh, just to wipe them out, stop there being quite so many little German flags on the map because it does slow us down quite a lot. So without further ado, let's take them out. Parts that, if you don't, that the number of... Uh, me. The number of flags being as high as it is uh, actually causes quite a significant slowdown. And obviously we also know if we don't fight these battles ourselves, then the auto-resolve will uh, make fools of us. So let's deploy our artillery up on the hills on either flank. Let's deploy a Sema and Israeli center let's, let's create two flanking brigades roughly with two elite infantry and one regular infantry cavalry out on each flank including Delhi horsemen who fire them off janissaries following up the center how it sits down just to annihilate him with quick climb Aha! So that's where they're coming in, is it? Okay, so let's pivot those sets of guns. Let's take you guys. And run you along like so. To be honest, this other set of guns can move around like so. Cagey with our cavalry because I don't with, with all this rain I don't have necessarily have a very good view. <sighs> you drag your units now all the way where you want them. There you go. Let's run you guys up. Cavalry from the reinforcing armies is moving up. The light horse. 25 cavalrymen. Too bad, got a bit of a Soundberg. Sipahi, charge in. Just charge them. Take them out. Good stuff. Okay, you guys stop shooting it. The cavalry. Fiber rank is just annihilate. Fiber rank and quick climb is annihilating this Freikorps unit. Got some light hussars charging in. It's a funny thing, this audio problem. It seems to uh, come in at uh, fairly arbitrary moments. Like it will decide at one time it wants to cause problems and then another time it will not be a problem for like entire hours trouble is though i think battles like this kind of highlight it because there's no real charge units back down the back to go knock out their guns what i want to see is the uh What I want to see is the rain disappear. Maybe more like that, considering where their infantry is. I really do hate rainy battles. Got you near Marines. 28 foot. Janissaries are running up and they're going to get very, very close. Those men run more up in sort of a flanking support role. Okay, you guys engage. Engage. 
Pahia back here, good. Taking out their gunners. The rain looks like it does seem to be easing off. Which is nice. So what have they got? Landfair Militia, Line of the Tree, Guerrilla Mercenaries, Mundorf Dragoons. To be honest, I could have and should have unnumbered those guns. It's funny actually. So the audio seems to complain about... It doesn't like playing battle sounds when it does happen. Um, but I can still hear like the, the ricochet of bullets. So let's get my dirty horsemen around. This other unit of Sapahi and my general. You guys just get ready. Although I'm surprised that both the bug and the Prussians are lasting this long. Then now they start to rout. Um, mainly because there's no... Uh... Because there's no... Huh. Now the battle sounds seem to come back. Now I don't shoot them. Oh well, they temporarily came back. All the artillery stop what you're doing. You just kill a bunch of my own dudes. But at least I've got an Ottoman army and there's plenty of dudes about. And there we go, Mullendorf Dragoons. Which are, which are attempting to, uh, to target my men. However, even if you were using them to hold up the advance, it was still not going to work in the way that you would have intended. Let's speed up time. Damn right, continue. Don't worry about the Dragoons specifically. Chiefly because uh, chasing down cavalry seems to be a bit of a pain in the ass, and small cavalry units aren't actually. Oh, they've spread out, I see. Small cavalry units aren't as much of a problem, uh, chiefly because they tend to break and die very quickly. There's five men left and they're all up here now. And all of my cavalry's after them. Good, they got him. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Close victory indeed. It was about... The only reason we fought that battle the way we did was to... knock out some of these flags. And hopefully convince some of them. I tried to, try to click him already. So these armies that are uh, damaged push. Will you push south to fill in the gap, actually? See if you can. Yeah. You will next. Although, to be honest, I don't really have any problems when it comes to. Uh, replenishment. These guys are all, re are all replenishing. But what I'd like to do next turn is knock out this guy, and then I can fire to these three armies pretty much straight at Hungary and get ready to take it. Um, obviously, you, obviously you're sat in Gdansk. You're marching to get into... You guys are pushing up to help threaten all these guys. Let's check our tech. Eight turns till elimination of well, abolition of slavery. Okay, let's just hit in turn. Let's see. Let's see the chaos that's about to be 
unveiled. Although actually I'll chop it now because it will take forever for pressure. So see you in a second everyone. When... Well that was short-lived because we got given an opportunity to intercept a Austrian force which I think we want to do. Um, Because if we don't they'll run straight past us and start raiding so we don't really have a choice. So our army is slightly depleted so we'll need to be careful. Um, then again theirs is fairly depleted as well and we've got a bunch more artillery than they do. It's being brought in also is um, that Prussian force that's currently blocking or is the only small force that's in the way of our to uh, attack us in such a manner. Oh, and this is a lovely piece of terrain to defend. Okay, uh, so we do need to be careful because we've not got a lot of infantry. But it is important to note we do have, at the very least, we have field artillery. Come on, there we go. We do have field artillery that can do a hell of a lot of damage. We do have cavalry to provide some backup. And we do have a... To be honest, you guys can... You can go on the flank, but I don't think it's going to be healthy for you. But we do have a few units of Janissaries that can do some melee work should uh, things get really bad. But yeah, we didn't really have much of a choice but to fight this, because if we didn't they would just run into our rear areas and start uh, braiding and tearing things down. No, yeah, that's not good. That's the Prussians that are coming in there though. So the Prussians are coming in through the town back there. Important to bear in mind. going straight for our straight towards our guns I don't know if they're actually going after them okay, that's what I wanted to do hit the grenadier guards with caster shot yep, there they go Hungarian Grenadiers, you look like a you look like a worthy quick climb target. Prussians are they're just, they're just walking, fortunately, so it is giving us an opportunity to uh, actually maybe deal with that cavalry. It's always nice hitting cavalry. Beaners didn't like that. It's not going to be long till they're here, so it might actually be wise to start to get my howitzers pivoting around and focusing on the reinforcement, well, not well, the enemy reinforcements that are coming in. And having our field artillery focus on the enemy in front of us. Let's pull back some of our melee troops. Because all these infantry... Actually, let's try and get them to hit these infantry units that are coming in. Come on, howitzers. Reload. Pivot your guns.
Oh, okay. Don't need to pull, don't need to pull back a, as much of our cavalry now. Because these guys got obliterated down to 34 men. The trouble is, this does just go to show that... They really do want our... Prussians want to wait. The Austrians want to wait for the Prussians to get into the fight. Um, but I'm afraid they're going to experience quite a lot of casualties before they get in. Nope. The howitzers are fired on someone else. Even though I gave them orders. Knock out these carabiners fairly quickly. That would be nice. Okay, there we go. Now they've started firing. Now their force starts to move up. We're a bit late. You focus on that light Hussar unit particularly. Here come the quick climbing howitzers. Oh yes, three units hit. Bang, bang, bang. What I want to see. Okay, we can probably push, push, bring these guys back. Nope, I accidentally halted you. You're still bombarding that foot artillery unit, but it's not really doing anything useful. Okay, focus on the De, De Swiffy Hussars, if they're going to uh, not support you with those remaining Cuirassier, that's pretty useful. Oh no, the audio's stopped again. Ugh, I've really got to fix, I'm going to fix. I'm going to get around to fix, fixing that in this next break. Oh, there we go. More quick climbing. Okay, let's start to get some of our cavalry around. Okay, are you guys able to take out 16 Curassier? That's what I would like to know. I do see those irregulars starting to uh, get around the flank, but my janissaries here are the bait. Yes, are broken. Go hit the Pandao. Probably quick climb, not quick climb, canister shot the Swiss guards. There we go. 
that's the irregulars shattered as well The Grenadier Guards annihilated. So let's push up our little musket line, such as it is, to help maintain pressure on on the uh, main forces. Bayonet charge. Starting to push around the flank. Let's bring my semi Janissaries back. No, oh, I retargeted you, you damn fools. Well, you've not done that much damage, actually. Charge my cavalry into the Jaeger. For the first regiment. You guys hit the Swiss Mountain Jaegers that start to pick other targets for the quick line. There we go. These Swiss Mountain Jaegers don't really stand a chance. their cavalry deployed they're probably going to wipe out my cavalry but there isn't a whole lot I can do about it I can run these guys back to this flank let's get my semat janissaries to charge them you guys hit the swiss guard specifically Drop, given you new targets that are definitely within your scope to hit. Yep, so they've made they're gonna make my cavalry route, potentially. But not before my semi janissaries get involved. There we go. You guys should also be upset at being charged in the flank. Bodyguard, chase down those irregulars. Camel nomads, just get over here. My regular cavalry, get over here and hit that. Hit those guns. See, look at that. Sneaky fellows. Camels that make let's actually root them around them, let's be fair. Let's get the Mamelukes over here.
guards are up here knocking out the artillery. Good lads. Very good lads. You guys go this way, cut off, I'll hit those engineers. I'm hoping this cavalry here can hit the. Some of them did die. Come on, kill that guy. Run around the spikes. Chase down the Royal Hungarian infantry. Let's just stop all the quick climbing for now, eh? Where's my Mameluke? There you are. Chase down those Swiss guards. These grenadiers should not last very long. And then let's speed up time. Well, bear in mind I have retargeted my howitzers, but I suspect because my cavalry corps is not very strong, we're probably not going to be retargeting too many units. Okay, actually you can. Don't think you'll get there though. Definitely pick the wrong unit because you may as well go chase down those grenadiers. And it looks like these guys and my camels are all that's left. So uh, let's see if we can how many grenadiers we can kill. 30 becomes 22, becomes something. Pretty good battle right there. Okay, I'm going to drop the recording again before the Prussian turn starts. And there goes the Prussian end turn. Thankfully, they did do some consolidating. And they did uh, actually combine some stacks together. So, theoretically, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too terrible to uh, witness them moving their armies about. I'm not quite sure what you guys are doing then. If you're not going to go to my school and try and steal my tech... Hmm. Lisbon has fallen again to the Swedish, it would appear. The pirates are going to be pirates. Fair play. Another Hashashin in Komi. Okay, so my Hashashin. Try to get over here to Munich. Komi itself still has religious unrest. Uh, you do not. So then I'll march you up probably to Crimea is converting and can now be taxed. Kiev is being converted. So you back here can march up to Venice. It's going to be a long walk. Courland is still being converted. Grade the madrasa here in Königsberg, and that means you can hop along to Gdansk. Although, actually, you're probably going to hop along again to uh, uh, Berlin, actually. Because there's. Yeah, building a madrasa and we're building a craft workshop building a fishing port we are going to repair these buildings we need to do a number of rounds of replenishment You guys aren't fully replenished yet, but you're replenished enough that I am going to 
push these guys up together and form a more coherent front. You guys can push up as well. Oh no, you're the starting of a new army. My mistake. And these forces, well, you guys can replenish. Let's upgrade the infrastructure in Poland. You guys need more stuff. So then you are probably going to I think what's going to happen is you are going to march along to the coast road and push up to the bridge or will do in due course. Uh, this army here well, I'll say army. It's not really much of an army, is it? Push you up. Breslau can get a madrasa. Let's repair the government building and let's do full replenishment of our armies inside. Yeah, it's a lot of men nearer the German heartland. They go started to convert them already. Yet they're exempting their capital from tax. Man, oh man. Well, from our perspective, the money's really starting to roll in. 78 grand next turn. It's pretty good. But the reason why I'm, I'm feeling okay with upgrading this... Well, to be honest, this Gdansk army can probably leave. Yes. Yep. But the main focus is you guys going to hit Christoph Koch and probably bring in their reinforcements there. Um, yeah, let's fight this. Probably be the end of the part. Although I suspect I am already over. I'm already over, but I don't mind. <laughs> I'd rather uh, overshoot. And then we've really made good progress all the way up to the gates of Berlin. Okay, so let's put our artillery, field artillery in the centre. Stretch out our troops. Again, not including my hand mortars yet. do like their use as um, like close range support for charges against the guns. Let's put a Janissary unit out on the flank, put out a rifleman unit up on the top of the hill. Let's give them some, give them some support in the form of cavalry because skirmishers are usually cavalry magnets. You guys form on the right, general in center oh no stop halt how many times do I do this everyone I forget about my damn how it's it's to the point where it becomes a liability because now my, my, my cannons aren't firing and now my howitzers are a uh, Sitting duck. Can you guys hit that Prussian unit? Here come the reinforcements as well, all the way to the rear. Say don't, I say don't, don't bug it out. You guys push up. I hear cavalry charge. 
Yeah. All of these units on the front line. Form square. Run our Semat Janissaries up, or our Chemat Janissaries up. The trees have successfully managed to defuse their charge to make it less of a thing. push up infantry to start to take the fight to the centre of their position. The general's been killed. Mainly, what doesn't certainly doesn't help them is the fact that they're... Ooh, okay, you stop shooting. Gendarmerie are walking. Five light horse. Bits and pieces are uh, attempting to withstand us. Yeah, both these infantry units get out of square, form a line, and then let the battle commence. Is Pahi going to do great on the charge? Delhi horsemen hit the lancers before they have a chance to interfere with our combat. Okay, let's get all of our artillery firing round shot because they've all... Their position is broken completely. So let's advance up to where they used to be. Let's get our Sipahi into the mix. Fusiliers, militia, militia's coming back. Lancers did break. We nearly got them all, actually. So we are going to get the Light Hussars, though. Jastry Grenadiers smashed straight into the... Uh, to the infantry there. Sipahi turn around and re hit the gendarmerie. You guys hit Prussian Fusiliers. Everyone except this unit that's in combat. Push up. Stop all the artillery from firing altogether. There we go. You can definitely kill that last fusilier. There we go. Push up to these last remaining units. What have they got? Sakers, Dragoons, Three Pounders, and the Guard Jaeger Battalion. My 
I mean, to be honest, my Sipahi alone can probably knock them out. There's my daddy horseman. Get them involved as well. They've placed stakes. Not well enough to protect their seeker. The 11th Regiment of Artillery is ours. Engaging the gunner specifically. I am going to lose Daddy Horseman to those spikes, but the goal is they should be close enough that we can uh, position ourselves well or maintain enough control over them to not lose them. Or not lose that many of them. <laughs> Continue, hit the gunners. Well, Daddy Horseman, try to get the Dragoons. Okay, they can all kind of go try to get the Dragoons now. So all that's left is this unit of militia all the way over here to route. There they go. That is a good battle. So they've been pushed back across towards Berlin, as have they. Now, that means armies like yours can push up to those bridges. That's four armies marching on Berlin, and it looks like we might need it. Well, these guys are depleted. To be honest, they should be suffering from some bankruptcy problems. I mean, war weariness is a big problem for them. <laughs> um, I really don't want to auto-resolve against you, but I don't want to fight you either. These guys are replenishing, so they could get smashed by... Good God, that's a lot of artillery. Two 24-pounder horse artillery units in one troop. Hmm. Um, but yes, looking at the timer, actually, yeah, yes, I'm going to do that. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing efforts of uh, pushing through Central Europe. Cheers, everyone.